Hey guys, it's Renee. Happy New Year. For this one, I wanted to share with you this. So the first thing that I did for this one is printed this 2023 numbers. This image that you see right now is going to be linked below. I just used the font impact for that and I'm just going to cut them. Feel free to use like numbers, quick cutters. I just didn't have them and so I thought I would just show you how to do them by hand. So for these numbers, I'm going to be using super black gel full coloring. My fondant is by Wilton. I do have the review for this fondant if you want to check it out. And my roller that has like those two rings it comes with them when it's thicker rolling my clay and then let it dry with the numbers on top and i'm letting it dry before cutting it because at the moment my fondant is way too soft still and if i cut it i'm gonna lose the shape but when it's getting harder i'm gonna be taking my exact knife and just cut my numbers like this it's actually not that hard at all you just have to go step by step especially in the curves and this is pretty much how i did it the good thing about fondant is that if you cut it and it's like too sharp smooth all rough edges with my fingers and with my tool i do have the diy for this tool by the way it's like a dating tool a scribe tool it's like an everything tool is pretty handy and for my zero i'm gonna be taking my wilton 12 and then mark two dots those dots are for reference on top bottom and then just cut it then i'm gonna be using my sector knife to just cut the part in the middle of the zero placing some toothpicks now i would suggest you do wait longer because my fondant was a bit too soft still placing them with a bit of a nudge because i can go straight i'm gonna be decorating this using my clear vanilla extract and my disco that's in rainbow i'm gonna be using my wilton brush I bought the set and I love it. Mixing those two, paint the whole thing, giving this, I gave it this two coats. Like I added the first coat, you wait for it to dry and then add the second coat. The second coat is gonna look a lot better because it's gonna be a lot more colorful, pigmented and fun. Then I'm gonna be making some candles because we're celebrating a new year. Rolling my clay into a bit of a sausage shape, then just roll it again. And I'm using this tool that I've been using a lot recently. I've never used it before. It's like a huge blade. Um, I got it on a like set for clay, cutting some stripes like this and just basing myself from the height of my numbers. Placing my toothpicks is going to be much easier with this one because of the shape. Then I'm going to be adding some flames. I'm going to be using some fondant colored in lemon yellow, using my roller again. And this quick cutters are like leaves, desired leaves. So I'm just going to be using the smallest one. This is from a set and just cutting a few of them. And then just placing them with a tiny bit of water on top in there. I'm going to be decorating my candles. For this, I added a tiny bit of yellow to my fondant. And for this one, I'm using my roller that has those two teal rings on each side those are like thinner rings i do have the diy for them and i'm going to be cutting some circles with my 2a placing them in a pocket that pattern and just gluing them with some water then go with my exacto knife and remove the excess then for others i'm going to be using some more fondant rolling this like really thin like this then with my roller cutting some stripes like this placing them across my candles like so in a diagonal angle and then removing the excess i'm now going to be taking my wilton 7 adding now some mini dots and for this one i added three on top and three at the bottom i rolled more fondant and i added this sort of shape i don't know what this is but it's like a detail like this cut the excess then i'm going to be using this disco dust sort of uh, gold again my clear vanilla extract my brush and i'm going to be adding some gold on top of those decorations and to be honest i don't really love this shade of gold it's like too yellowish for my taste and it's not pigmented at all but it kind of shines but this is just the, the only one that i have and as a final step i'm going to be adding some tulip red you can add any red really mixing it with my clear vanilla extract and then just add some details to the flame it's actually really easy you just have to remove the excess and then just place whatever you have in the brush like that and then just add a bit more on the bottom part and it's pretty much it guys i love them i love how everything looks to be honest those numbers shine beautifully at nighttime hopefully you like them too but more than anything i just wanted to wish you a happy new year i hope all your dreams and desires for this new year come true i hope you have an amazing health happiness love wealth work and all the good stuff i think every new year is like a new opportunity to just reset for the things that you couldn't accomplish this last year for instance do you have a new year full of opportunities to do so but yeah for this new year i have a lot of like new stuff that i want to share so i hope you stick around now i'm just going to be using this cupcakes frosting them with this cream cheese frosting is from like nordstrom's cafe i do have the recipe and the review for this one placing my fondant toppers but yeah happy new year thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye